Welcome back to the best Eladia set series by Prepzo. And today we will do the third application of the concept of chocolate distribution that I've explained in the last two videos. If you have not watched those videos, I'll strongly advise you guys go back and watch those in the course. Okay. So, uh, by the way, if you we have already started with the marathon events and the booster batch, last call out for any student who wants to be a part of it to learn and maximize their revision and the last minute score. We'll cover a lot of shortcuts and tricks here. With this, let's move on to today's set, which is the set number 60. Okay, we'll be doing more sets as a part of the booster batches only. But these are like, like the open sets, okay? So let's read the set in a group of 600 students. Okay, just a minute, I'll just uh, take the pen, yeah. In a group of 600 students, each student can play at most two out of the five games. Okay, five games, every child can play zero games, or one game, or two games, right? The number of students playing cricket, football, hockey, tennis, and chesses are this. These are overlapping cases, right? So, I can't tell you how many total chocolates I have. Total chocolates will be sum of all of these. 2 plus 4, 6 plus 4, 10, 2, 8, 0, and 1. Total chocolates are 1082, which I need to distribute to 600 students. Okay? What could be the maximum? Why did I have chocolate distribution? Because it was a classic case of overlapping. One query was given. Okay? And... Uh, Maximum minimum wala a question pucha gaya tha. Hence I and a lot of not many not not many information is given to me. So I am using chocolate distribution ka method laga raha hu. And uh, this site says that what could be the maximum number of students who do not like any sport. मुझे zero वाले को अगर maximize करना है तो मुझे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बच्चों को एक भी chocolate नहीं देनी है. इसका मतलब क्या हुआ? इसका मतलब हुआ कि मुझे कम से कम बच्चों में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा chocolate देनी है. राइट right? इसका मतलब अगर जितनी भी चॉकलेट्स है टोटल चॉकलेट्स 1082 को मुझे कम से कम लोगों में डिवाइड करनी है आई नीड टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट 1082 चॉकलेट्स इन द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई नो एवरी स्टूडेंट कैन हैव अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू चॉकलेट्स राइट सो एट लीस्ट मुझे एक कितने बच्चे चाहिए 1082 अगर मैं सबको दो-दो भी दे दूं स्टिल आई विल नीड एट लीस्ट 541 स्टूडेंट्स राइट वो तो चाहिए चाहिए अगर इससे कम स्टूडेंट्स में तो मैं चॉकलेट्स को डिवाइड कर ही नहीं सकता so if I need at least 541 students to accommodate for all the 1082 chocolates, right? So ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा एक कितने बच्चे हो सकते हैं जिनको एक भी chocolate नहीं मिलेगी 600 minus 41 minus 541 and this is nothing but 59, right? Very simple. If you like, uh, if you have understood this concept very nice, you'll be able to solve this question within 20 30 seconds. CAD के लिए बहुत important question है. एक set आएगा जिसके चार questions होंगे and hence I'm trying to cover as many variants as possible in different sets. If you like this explanation and if this is clear to you guys, do like us and do share, subscribe karo and share karo apne dosto ke saath. This is a very good revision for CAT. Last ke do mahine mein, these are the sites that you must revise. Thank you.